everybody, I hope you're doing great. Today we're gonna do a real house. Remember Frozen? And guess what kind of title we have for a chapter? Remember, it started with this across. Yes, yeah, across the sea. Maybe only 30 seconds. 30 seconds. See? Across the sea. Let's get started reading. It's heartin', heartin', heartin'. He, there's our ship, Elsa unexclaimed, peering out the window. Are you almost ready? Just about, Elsa replied as she packed the last of her things in her trunk. She smiled at her sisters in H. Impatient, but really she couldn't wait to go on their trip either for a few months. Few months. Alta had been planning a royal tour, tour to visit nearby kingdoms. And now it was time to leave. Her heart fluttered with excitement. Excitement! As the sisters climbed aboard, climbed aboard their ship, ship, the captain hurried over to them. He looked worried. Your Majesty! So, I think he means to, sir. Your Majesty, the captain sent to El, said to Elsa. I got the it in airy, itinerary. You sent, but I don't think we'll, we'll make it to the first stop on time. Not with waters, waters this still. Don't worry, Anna said, talking the wheel. We've got it covered, Elsa said, creating a light snow flurry to push them along. So, look at Elsa. She's shiny, shining in the sun. Soon the ship arrived at the first port, the kingdom of Zaria. The people clapped and cheered at the sight of their visitors. Welcome, Queen Elsa and Princess Anna. King Erebor Sterbor called in a booming voice as he met them at the dock. We cannot wait to show you our kingdom, Queen er Renalia added warmly. Thank you, Anna and Elsa said together, bowing gracefully to their host. Asked, has. Hosts. First, the king and queen of Zaria invited the sisters to lunch, where Anna and Elsa enjoyed tasty new foods and lively, lively, lively conversations. Conversations. Er, and Alia, Renalia thought I couldn't talk when we first met. I was so nervous around her. King Sturbor told them, Oh, that's sweet, Anna said. Yes, except how now he won't stop talking, Queen Renalia said with a chuckle. Chuckle. So that means when you laugh. Next, Anna and Elsa were take, taken on a tour of Zarya's prized, prized gardens. Elsa pointed out a flower that looks like their friend Olaf. Well, we'll be sure to send you home with some of these seeds, King Sturbor said with a smile. So this is King Sterbor 
Bor, and this is Queen Renalia. That night, the girls were treated to a grand festival. We've heard so much about your special talents, Queen Renal Renalia said to Elsa, won't you show us some of your magic? Suddenly, Elsa felt shy. She nodded at the dance floor. Would you like to join the dancing, Your Majesty? She asked, changing the subject. That looks like fun. See? The next morning, Anna and Elsa set out for the kingdom of Ch at O Chato. The sisters met Chato's ruler, Queen Kaoisia, Kaoisia, in front of the in impressive, impressive palace. Thank you for having us, Your Majesty, Elsa said. Of course, the queen responded warmly i'm very happy you both are you are both here queen aoisia felicia took the sisters on a walk through the kingdom's main forest where they saw many unclean unclean animals anna was our Ik uh particularly found found of some book ashful bashful furry creatures. Why hello there, she said, waving at the animals. Do you know what that is? Remember it's a, a sloth. Do you know why they call it sloth? They climb very slowly. They eat very fast, though. And I hope you enjoyed reading. We read today. Bye.